In a world where corals are facing increasing threats, a wave of hope emerges. Welcome to episode 3 of our series, where we explore the efforts of coral research restoration in the second largest coral barrier reef in the world, the Mesoamerican Reef. In this episode, discover a team of researchers that is testing low-tech and low-cost interventions to improve the health, growth and survival of coral larvae while also building the first coral rearing laboratory in Honduras. Leading this international collaborative effort is Dr. Rebecca Albright from California Academy of Sciences, who is working with coral research and restoration experts from the USA and Honduras. As part of the project, the team is setting up a unique laboratory in Roatan, Honduras, in which they will grow corals, the first of its kind in Central America, which is expected to be operational in 2024. To understand how to reverse mortality of coral larvae and therefore contribute to greater success of coral reproduction, the team will apply three different therapies that will either reduce energetic costs or provide additional sources of energy. Such approaches are expected to improve coral growth and survival. A fourth therapy will also be tested to speed up coral adaptation to increasing seawater temperatures. These therapies may hold the secret to improving the health and resilience of young corals, ensuring a diverse and thriving coral reef ecosystem. By training local partners who use effective, low-cost, low-tech methods in coral reproduction and husbandry, the project aims to engage the community and succeed at restoring the Mesoamerican reef. Empowering local heroes to take charge of their environment is key to creating a sustainable future for coral reefs. CORDAP is fueling numerous research initiatives across the globe through the Coral Accelerator Program to secure a safe future for corals. Join us for episode 4 as we uncover another coral conservation and restoration research project.